Hey guys, it's me again. So I thought today I'm going to do a really quick video talking about the cobalt silver and how I polish them after I cut them to make them look nice. So here I got it as a wet and dry sander. This is the wet part. This is the water reservoir in there and the dry sander here. I'm not going to use the dry sander at the time because I'm doing this indoors, so I'll use the wet one. It's very convenient. It's not messy at all. So here are a couple pieces of silver that I got from cobalt. Here's one. You can kind of see it a little bit up here. And there's a cut I made, but it's really rough from the diamond blade. So I got to make this look nicer. I'm going to make this piece look a little bit better. And there's another one here. This is more on a high grade. It's a lot better quality material. You can't make out exactly the silver from the arsenic because it's intermixed. This is quite a heavy piece. And you have these smaller ones as well. Same thing, can kind of make out the silver in the bottom, but it's a little rough. You can see a little bit of it peaking here in the light. And then we get this little piece here. A little bit of silver here you can see, and then there's the cut. You can kind of see it. So, what, how this is going to work is when I turn this puppy on, I'm going to take the silver piece, put it on the grinding wheel, and just in this kind of motion, for example, just back and forth like this, we're going to be doing this. Slowly back and forth. And as we do that, keep on checking it if it looks better and better and better, and just keep going like that. Make sure that the quality is all right. So we'll see. Let's give this a try, and I'll show you how it looks, and then I'll stop, keep going at it, and I'll show you some of the final results, what I do after the grinding. Okay, so this is how it goes. Yep, let's put up against it. That's it. Back and forth. You may want to wear gloves here because uh, a lot of the silver contains arsenic, so the one that's ground it off is going to be very uh, mucky. It's going to be very dark and easy to stain your hands. It's kind of hard to wash off. You know, so anyway, so anyway, just keep on going around it and you inspect. It's looking a little better. You can kind of see the silver coming out of the arsenic. So just keep doing that back and forth. And I'll get back to you once it's done. So after the initial uh, grinding, here's kind of the end result. You can clearly see the silver shining out right here on the edge. Can't see much about the edges of the piece though, but that you can make out. And then here's the big chunk. It's a lot hard to see because there's a lot of arsenic that are reflecting it, but if you look in the right light, you can kind of see it. This is a pretty high grade piece, but a lot of the silver you see is arsenide. So it's heavy. And then this one here. You can see it on the bottom right, kind of. You see it? Yeah. And this little one here. This little one here shows a lot of. Yeah. There you go. So now what I would do, in this case, I would take some uh, sandpaper with say 600 grit and just start uh, polishing the bottom of it. For a while, a circular motion, real circular motion, just keep on going at it for a little bit to smooth it out. When you're done with that, what I actually do, I use the sandpaper on the very top of the specimen just a little bit. Just like one, two, three, four, because that will expose the silver a little bit better. You also don't want to wear gloves because, like I said, this is where it's going to get really dusty when you use the sandpaper and wear breathing protection just in case. I have this uh, cover underneath my uh, sander because some water always shoots out from the reservoir. So anyway, I'm going to do some sanding now and I'll show you the end result, okay? And I'll show you some of the other specimens I did this. Okay guys, so I'm done. I sanded the pieces down all around. I used also some wire brushes uh, to give it a quick sanding in some of the tight to hard to reach areas. So let's take a look at the end result. There's the one of the little ones here. Let's see, yeah, you can see a little bit of silver poking out just here, you can kind of see it, and then on the cut section, there it is. It's a lot clearer to see the silver, right? Yeah, I like the end result. There's that one. Now this one, on the surface, you can see the silver array, there's a bit, bit of it here, here, you can see it peeking out, and as the cut piece, there it is, it's on the bottom. Could be a little smoother, but uh, you can always keep doing this until you get the kind of smoothness you like and the glow. You can see the silver right there. The bigger chunk. This was a high grader piece because you can see there's a lot of silver right here. It's all, all along here. That was the main vein bit. 
little bits here a couple on the bottom you can kind of see on the cut you can see it it's it's kind of mostly along this area but you can see that's where it is now the high grade piece unfortunately is mostly our mix of arsenal when you get a piece like this as you can see it's kind of hard to tell on the surface you see mostly similar if you know what you're looking for like around here you can kind of spot it but it's hard on the cut section though it should be a little bit easier to see yeah it's hard to get on camera because of the way the light reflects but it's in the middle of the gray patches almost you can kind of see it just in the middle of the gray like right here right on the left you can see it yeah that's the silver on the left right here that I'm showing you guys yeah that's it's all about the right lighting you can kind of see it right in the middle this is a pretty nice uh, high grade piece now this works pretty well uh, I let me show you some other specimens that are a little bit more a uh, higher quality than this for example this one here you can see on the surface like every there's silver peeking out everywhere see it there it is everywhere and here's the cut piece now you can see that that's all silver that's looking there's very little arsenite you can see a little bit of calcite or dolomite here this is a high grade piece beautiful that's almost dendritic almost it's heavy too it's got some serious weight to it this other one is one of my one of my oldest and favorite pieces just look look at that silver peeking out here here it's in calcite here here and then here's the cut part you can see the silver in the cuts too could have been a little better cut but whatever you get the idea yeah so anyway here you have it uh, that's how I do things to get these silver pieces sanded down and uh, thanks for watching take care